we have seen that uh, there are different types of convergence for sequence of random variables. Uh, among the among these convergences, uh, one important type is almost sure convergence. And we have seen also that Kolmogorov 0 1 law uh, has something to do with this kind of convergences. So, here uh, we are trying to explore whether or some kind of characterization of almost sure convergences. That means, under what condition we can say that a sequence of random variable converges almost surely or is there any conditions that should be satisfied or is it possible that almost sure convergence implies a set of conditions or can, can produce some interesting results. So, to answer these questions uh, we, we need one important theorem due to Kolmogorov that is called Kolmogorov's convergence theorem. This actually deals with the uh, notion of almost sure convergence under particular conditions. Another important theorem is called Kolmogorov's 3 series convergence. Actually, this is some kind of characterization that means almost sure convergence implies a set of conditions. On the other hand, if a set of conditions hold, then uh, almost sure convergence will happen. So, these are the things that we are going to study uh, in this talk, in this lecture and we will also do rigorous proof of both these theorems. Uh, because these theorems not only involves the proof, the line of proof or the technique of proof is not only interesting, but extremely crucial in the sense that it involves some particular techniques, some kind of manipulation or simplification, nice techniques are also there. So, we need to understand those techniques and tools in order to master in the theory of probability or uh, we, we can apply this later on in, in many results in probability theory. So, uh, now we are going to talk on Kolmogorov's convergence theorem. As we know that uh, there is one law which is very important that is known as Kolmogorov's 0 1 law. Now, Kolmogorov's 0 1 law explores that this summation x n either converges almost surely or diverges almost surely provided x n is a sequence of independent random variables. So, it ensures that either this will converge or this will diverge, but the question is when can we say that such sums converge almost surely. So, that is the natural question that should come immediately after that. Now, a partial answer to this question can be given by what is known as Kinchin Kolmogorov convergence theorem or more popularly known as simply Kolmogorov's convergence theorem. And the complete answer is given by Kolmogorov's 3 series theorem. So, now we will discuss this 2 theorems Kolmogorov's convergence theorem and Kolmogorov's 3 series theorem in order to explore that under what condition this sum sum of variables that is summation x n uh, converges almost surely. Now, note one important thing that here we are discussing or we are considering only the convergence almost surely. So, the statement of Kolmogorov's convergence theorem is as follows. Suppose x n is a sequence of independent random variables where expect with expectation of x n equals to 0 and expectation of x n square equals to sigma square. Now, sigma square must be less than infinity, this is a finite quantity for every n greater than equals to 1. So, naturally sigma square is nothing but the variance of uh, x n for each n. Then we can say that summation x n n equals to 1 to infinity converges almost surely if summation expectation of x n square less than infinity. That means, here we need the existence uh, of and, and a condition relating to the second order moment. So, it is enough to show that um, so, so, this this condition this theorem holds only under the assumption of the existence of second order moments. Now, before proving this Kolmogorov's convergence theorem, uh, we first recall two results which are extremely important as I have already mentioned in the previous talks. One is the famous Chebyshev's inequality and another is Levy's theorem which we have already discussed. So, what is Chebyshev's inequality? It is probability modulus of x minus mu greater than sigma t is less than equals to 1 by t square, 
square expectation of x is mu and variance of x is sigma square. So, here also we assume the moments up to second order. And Levy's theorem states that for a sequence of independent random variables that is x n, this summation x n converges almost surely if and only if. So, it is a both sided uh, theorem if and only if summation x n converges in probability. We have already proved this Levy's theorem. Now, we will use these two results to prove Kolmogorov's convergence theorem. So, let us consider the proof. So, first put capital X as summation x k, k equals to n to m. Then naturally since expectation of x k equals to 0 for every k uh, that is given in the condition of the Kolmogorov's convergence theorem, we immediately have expectation of x equals to 0 and variance of x equals to summation a k equals to n to m expectation of x k square which is nothing but summation k equals to n to m sigma k square. Now, we apply Chebyshev's inequality here. Uh, so, for take consider one epsilon which is greater than 0 and take sigma as square root of summation k equals to m to n to m expectation of x k square. So, the direct application of Chebyshev's inequality uh, gives us probability modulus of uh, summation x k greater than epsilon which is equals to probability summation x k greater than we just adjust sigma in the numerator and denominator. So, sigma times epsilon by sigma and immediate application gives us less than equals to summation expectation of x k square by epsilon square. So, this is the upper bound that we get. Uh, now, just a little bit of simplification gives us epsilon square into probability of modulus summation x k greater than equals to epsilon less than equals to summation expectation of x k square uh, let us call less than epsilon cube. If m n both greater than n naught. Now, it is clear that uh, we have the condition that summation expectation of x k square is less than infinity. So, there exists for every epsilon we can always find one n naught epsilon such that whenever m n both greater than n naught this condition will hold. Therefore, uh, we immediately get uh, probability that modulus of summation x k greater than equals to epsilon is less than epsilon provided m n both greater than n naught. Now, we can immediately write it, it, it is obvious that summation x k k equals to one n to m we can always write this as s m minus s n minus 1. So, probability modulus of s m minus s n minus 1 greater than equals to epsilon is less than epsilon. That means, S n or the sequence of S n is nothing but a Cauchy sequence in probability. And now, we apply Levy's theorem to show and just, just direct application of Levy's theorem gives us that S n converges in probability to S, almost S n converges to S almost surely. That means, summation X n converges almost surely. So, this is the proof of Kolmogorov's convergence theorem. Uh, which is extremely important as I have already mentioned uh, in probability theory. So, this relates to the convergence almost surely for a sequence of independent random variables and we have used Chebyshev's inequality as well as Levy's theorem in order to prove this theorem. So, this can be considered as a nice application of Levy's theorem. Now, let us move on to the uh, next important theorem due to Kolmogorov again. Uh, that is known as uh, Kolmogorov's 3 series theorem. But before doing that, let me introduce one definition uh, that is due to Loeb and two other results. So, the definition means two sequence, two sequences of random variables say x n and y n are said to be tail equivalent if we can have summation n equals to 1 to infinity probability that x n not equals to y n is less than infinity. So, in that case these two sequences are said to be tail equivalent. Uh, so, it is natural that this 3 series uh, Kolmogorov's 3 series theorem involves this uh, concept we will discuss it immediately. So, two other uh, results 
uh, one is already known as Borel 01 law which is let omega script f p be a probability space and a n be sequence of independent events. Then probability a n occurs infinitely open that is limb soup of a n equals to 0 if and only if summation n equals to 1 to infinity probability of a n less than infinity uh, or this probability limb soup a n equals to 1 if and only if summation probability of a n equals to infinity. Uh, another result uh, which is also known as Kolmogorov's inequality, but this Kolmogorov's inequality involves two things. One is lower bound, another is upper bound. Here we are going to use only lower bound. That is why I have stated here only the lower bound part in Kolmogorov's inequality. This states that uh, if x1, x2, xn are independent random variables and expectation of xi square is less than infinity, also another additional condition that modulus of xk is less than equals to c which is less than infinity that means xk is a bounded random variable then defining sn as summation xi i equals to 1 to n and for every epsilon greater than 0 we get it can be shown that probability of maximum of sk minus modulus of sk minus expectation of sk greater than equals to epsilon this quantity this probability is bounded below by the quantity which is 1 minus epsilon plus 2c whole square divided by summation sigma k square k equals to 1 to n. Now let us state Kolmogorov's 3 series theorem. Suppose that xn n equals to 1 to infinity be a sequence of independent random variables. Now let us define based on this sequence xn let us define another sequence let us denote this by xn dashed which is equals to xn if modulus of xn less than equals to 1 and 0 if modulus of xn greater than 1 now for every n greater than equals to 1. Then the series summation xn converges as if uh, almost surely if and only if the following conditions hold there are three conditions the conditions are number 1 summation n equals to 1 to infinity probability of omega such that mod of x n omega greater than 1 which is less than infinity. Second condition is summation expectation of x n prime converges and third condition is that summation sigma square x n prime that means sum of variances of x n prime n equals to 1 to infinity is less than infinity. Now we will prove this theorem. First assume that these three conditions hold. Then by Kolmogorov's convergence theorem what is C? C implies that summation n equals to 1 to infinity x n prime minus expectation of x n prime converges almost surely. Because we are given that some C, C actually condition C is summation variance of x n prime less than infinity. Now condition B states that summation expectation of x n prime converges this immediately implies that summation x n prime converges almost surely. And now if we recall the condition A and apply in our Borel Cantelli lemma it says that probability of modulus of x n greater than 1 that is almost infinitely often that means modulus of x n greater than 1 this occurs infinitely often equals to 0. So, naturally modulus of x n is less than equals to 1 almost surely and hence summation x n n equals to 1 to infinity converges almost surely. So, this part is very easy quite trivial uh, just by applying Kolmogorov's convergence theorem and borel cantilly lemma and some uh, other uh, some other concepts here. So, let us do the let us prove the converse part that is assume that summation x n converges almost surely. Now, xn converges, xn converges to 0 almost surely implies that probability modulus of xn greater than 1 occurs infinitely often and that, that is equals to actually 0. Now, by Borel 0 1 law A is proved immediate application of Borel 0 1 law actually proves A. Now, now let us prove C that is note that to prove C note that x n the sequence x n and the sequence x n prime they are tail equivalent sequences. We have already defined what is the meaning of tail equivalent sequences. 
also it is given that summation action converges almost surely so naturally this will imply that summation action prime converges almost surely and if you recall the definition of xn prime it is clear that xn prime is a sequence of uniformly bounded in independent random variables now define sn prime as summation j equals to 1 to n xj prime now since we have already seen that summation xn prime converges almost surely then it is immediate that limit of n goes to infinity probability of supremum m greater than equals to n modulus of sm prime minus sn prime greater than equals to epsilon that is equals to 0. Uh, let us denote this by a 1 that is a, this is the equation 1 and this is immediate this equation 1 actually immediate consequence of the fact that summation xn prime converges almost surely. Now we apply uh, the Kolmogorov's inequality in fact only the lower bound which immediately gives that probability supremum over m greater than equals to n sm prime minus sn prime modulus of that greater than equals to epsilon is greater than equals to 1 minus 2 plus epsilon whole square by summation sigma xj prime square. Now, c here is actually 1. Now, if the denominator that is summation sum of variances of xj prime is equals to infinity, then probability of supremum of modulus of sm prime minus sn prime greater than equals to epsilon equals to 1. Now, remember this actually contradicts 1. So, this cannot be true. So, summation of variance of x j cannot be equals to infinity because this contradicts 1. So, naturally summation of variance of x j prime that is summation sigma x j prime square must be less than infinity and this actually proves c part or the condition c in the statement of Kolmogorov's three series convergence theorem. Again, if we apply, if we, if we check that Kolmogorov, Kinchin Kolmogorov's theorem or Kolmogorov's convergence theorem, that summation x n prime minus expectation of x n prime converges almost surely. Since it is given that summation x n prime converges almost surely, we also have summation expectation of x n prime converges, and which naturally proves p. So we have already proved uh, part A part b and part c. Part a is proved through Borel's 0 1 law, part b is a direct application of Kolmogorov's uh, inequality, in fact the lower bound of Kolmogorov's inequality and just by applying Kinchin Kolmogorov's theorem or Kolmogorov's convergence theorem, part b is proved. So, it is it is immediately clear that Kolmogorov's 3 series convert 3 series theorem is some kind of uh, characterization or rather both way uh, theorem that summation when under what conditions summation x n converges almost surely and on the other hand if summation x n converges almost surely uh, we can have three nice conditions. So, we have uh, seen what is the meaning of Kolmogorov's convergence theorem statement of this theorem and also Kolmogorov's three series convergence theorem and we have also uh, understood the detailed proof of these theorems and which are extremely important as I have already mentioned in the theory of probability especially in the area of convergence uh, for a sequence of random variables and mostly this helps us in understanding the almost sure convergences uh, with respect to a sequence of random variables. And also uh, this is important to note that uh, we have used some results like the concept of uh, similar similar kind of result of Borel 0 1 law or Kolmogorov 0 1 law and also different concepts like Lim soup and Lim inf or the, the probability or a, or a sequence of events occurs infinitely open. So, all these notions that we have already studied uh, previously uh, we have also used these notions and some very is uh, very preliminary but very important techniques are being used to in order to prove this theorem. So, we need to remember these techniques, the techniques of the proof uh, to so that we can apply the same kind of technique in later uh, in proving several other results in probability theory and also the convergence related results.